Hi there Virgos, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So this reading is going to run roughly from August 20th to August 26th, okay? Um, before we start, I want to apologize to you guys for not having your readings out, I believe for the month of June and also July. Um, I had a little bit of a sports injury to my left hand and I couldn't shuffle the cards and I was not able to do the reading or take clients for the month of July. Um, it was also Mercury in retrograde and um, we had a lot of... Um, strong planetary aspects to Aquarius which is my sign so I felt like it was best to kind of lay low and just sort things out in my own life so I apologize for not having the readings out for you moving forward I'm hoping to be do able to do these weekly readings mainly because they're shorter they're easier to do they're a little bit more concise and um, it's less of an energetic drain for me so we'll continue this next week and then you know going into September your birthday birthday time um, I'll see if I need to change methods or revert back or you know whatever we'll, we'll figure it out as we go um, I wanna just wish you all a very happy birthday for those of you who are celebrating um, the later part of August so happy birthday to you all and then you know uh, sept come September um, we'll have your video and then we'll go from there okay so the way this works is these are two separate spreads it's different from what I've done in the past the first five cards deal with your love life the um, second set of five cards deal with more your general energy so whatever information comes through that's what I'm going to relay it could be more love information or it could be work and, and other areas of your life so let's just get into your reading um, first of all major major choices in your relationship we have here the lovers should I stay or should I go what should I do about this connection do I dive right in uh, even though you know the other person might not be 100 percent mr. or mrs. right do I dive right in or do I wait for something better to come along the message for you guys for this week is you know don't be so serious don't be so serious it's hard not to be serious as a Virgo and I feel like a lot of you you let a lot of good opportunities for fun for excitement for growth pass you by mainly because you're quite I want to say discerning and critical about like the potential of things so it's almost like when you're given an opportunity you project like okay if I do this, what's going to happen? If I take a course of action in this direction, what's going to happen? So it's almost like ruminating and knowing all the possibilities that are going to um, come to be before you even take up on the action, before you even make a choice. And as a result, it's like, oh, uh, it's not going to work out, so why do I want to you know, take up on this offer? So I feel like, you know, it's like you, you hold yourself back negative self-talk or even anticipating worst-case scenarios because you guys are really good about that and then as a result of it you kind of refuse opportunities and then it, opportunities pass you by okay so I feel like this is a week for you to you know just be a little bit more playful just uh, take opportunities as they come and don't project so far into the future it's also the end um, the Mercury retrograde cycle ended on the 19th of this month and so the the fog is lifting the true opportunities and the true choices and the good um, uh, I, I want to say choices are actually left right now so they're they're here the fog has lifted and it's time for you to act it's time for you to take some action and I feel like many of you there is an offing um, something on the offing okay so it's like the page of wands this is a message about something quite exciting you know do you want to go for a hike do you want to go for a run do you want to go for a picnic do you want to go horseback riding do you want to join me on this endeavor I feel like somebody is quite smitten by you and they're attracted to you and they want to give you an offer and um, once again page of wands it's not exactly a fire sign but it can be um, I see Libra, um, Gemini, and Fire, so Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and also combinations of Libra and um, Gemini here with the lovers. And basically what it means is there is an offer on the table, 
and I feel like you've thought about it long and hard and you're just like I don't know what to do I don't know if this is the right person for me their energy is too spontaneous they seem to me like a heartbreaker they seem to me like they're only interested in me physically they seem like they just wanna you know have a one-night stand with me or fling with me when I'm looking for reciprocity and I feel like you're trepidatious about taking on this offer but the energy for this week is go for it have a little fun enjoy yourself enjoy the moment and don't project so far into the future okay so like look at what's in front of you rather than look at what it is that you're thinking you know three four months down the line so learn to live in the moment stop with the worry stop with the rumination stop with the projection and just really be present in this moment because I feel like you're letting a lot of opportunities pass you by and you're also um, you 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 have also kicked yourself you know over not grabbing new opportunities so there is a tremendous amount of fun and excitement and social events and, and outings that can occur for you this uh, week but you're still not going for it I feel like towards the end of the week towards the weekend you definitely will take up on these offers either with a fire sign or a Gemini okay so Sagittarius Aries uh, um, Leo and a an air sign so um, Gemini um, but not so much a Piscean energy with this even though it's a dual sign but I'm feeling more of a Gemini vibe um, what I'm feeling for many of you you've you've left a relationship the justice card indicates like a divorce a separation or something where you felt it was like totally unfair and I feel like you're still recuperating from it and you might have some trust issues regarding new offers that are on the table for you for those of you who have been gotten out of a marriage I feel like you're taking um, like small steps small steps which is great venturing into the dating environment and I feel like it's gonna work out really well for you so you have communication and messages that are going to be coming in with somebody that you have a very strong attraction towards okay and I feel like it, it can be the the start of something very very solid and really good for you so please take up on this offer for those who are in coupled relationship there might have been relationship issues here the give and take the balance the energetic push and pull in the relationship dealing with someone who is incredibly stubborn you're trying to write a situation you're trying to be patient with them and I feel like your patience is running out um, the the main problem that I feel with a lot of uh, Virgo and people in relationships is that you expect perfection from your partner you expect your partner to be able to um, be you know like um, to to overcome all of their problems on their own because you yourself you're able to solve your own problems and you're dealing with somebody who might be very trapped very stuck in their ways and it's hard for them to solve their own problems and I feel like when somebody is not able to solve their own problems and you know also you have very high standards with the people that you date or the people that you get into relationships with so you expect them to be perfection you expect them to be able to handle their responsibilities and take care of things if they're uh, dealing with some emotional problems you expect them to you know pick up themselves up their own bootstraps and just solve them and I feel like your partner needs that emotional support from you okay um, they're a little bit confused like what's my direction in life where do I want to go where do I want to live and so there might have been arguments and things like that regarding a direction of a relationship is the relationship reciprocal are you tired of waiting for them waiting for them to get themselves together or get their lives together and I feel like this is a week where you are gonna have to make some compromises because you're gonna have to understand that when the partner is not feeling well we have to step up in the relationship and vice versa when you're not feeling well as much as um, as much as you know you hate having to depend on another person that it's okay uh, one partner needs to step up when the other person is not feeling well and in this situation I feel like many of you are gonna take up the, the the calling and step up for your relationship partner which is a really beautiful energy I feel like 
you spent last week trying to decide on this relationship and this is the week where you're like okay let's do it let's just you know uh, agree to disagree and then move forward okay so it, it's very beautiful it's, it's really reconciliatory and it's very um, it's very good okay let's look at other areas of your life okay so first of all um, the chariot this is a big career card when it's in the reverse position um, I usually think of it as health issues okay and uh, I feel like Leo got the same uh, card and I think it might be in a similar placement I just did it and I forgot already so this is usually um, indicating to me like feeling a little bit under the weather not feeling at your best not feeling it's like mobility might be restricted or you're not feeling quite um, it, it seems to me like water retention it seems to me like fever or something where there is an imbalance of water so drink a lot of water make sure that you get your system hydrated okay so that you're gonna be you're gonna be healing this week so we have here the six of wands success and then we have you kind of like up and 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 about again so assessing what you need to do in order to take care of your body and you're very very sensitive to what your bodily um, needs are so you know I, I feel like it boils down to just taking better care of yourself getting a lot of water in your system so that you're not feeling you know it's also the summertime in the northern hemisphere so just make sure you hydrate um, at the same time what I do sense overall is the chariot is a major arcana card and it deals with like career trajectory okay am I happy where I'm at right now am I applying all of my skills many of you are just like no I have a lot of skills and I feel like this job alone it doesn't tap into all of my potential yes I'm getting positive reception and accolades in the work environment but something feels like it's a little bit um, something feels like um, it's not 100% the right fit. So I feel like you're also thinking about long-term career opportunities, expansion, even retirement for some of you. And like you're at the peak of your career, you want to continue working, but you're also like physically you might be feeling like I'm kind of tired. I want to retire, but you know, people need me. So the point here is... Um, don't project so far in the future. Live in the moment right now. Take care of whatever issues that are creeping up. And then, you know, whenever you feel this, like, okay, it's done. I need to turn the page. I need to start something else. Once you have 100% committed to this end, completion, that's when you start looking. Okay, so I feel like many of you, you're kind of dithering around, like, um, thinking about those long-term goals when in fact you have a lot of achievements you have a lot of things that you can do there's still a purpose for you to be here and there are a lot of people that are looking up to you and this is a card about leading the way having the spotlight on you and having like a, a lot of people that really look up to you and admire you and depend on you to kind of lead the charge okay so you're in very in a very public um, it's like your whatever work environment you're in you find yourself in the spotlight and I feel like it can at times feel emotionally like uncomfortable because Virgo and people are generally great behind the scenes they're not like um, uh, limelight hogs so I feel like the attention can feel a little bit uncomfortable but um, I feel like you you do it because there's a need for it you do it mainly because it's propelling you towards a bigger um, like a, 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 the next goal or the next stage in your life something is coming to an end like a wrapping up a project wrapping up um, wrapping up something like some some big culmination is happening for you for this week and I feel like towards the end you're gonna feel a lot better okay um, take care of your health though okay Virgos don't run yourself ragged and you know keep yourself center and just really focus on what needs to be done this week and focus on what's in front of you don't um, ruminate and think so far ahead okay so this is a time for you to just kind of ease up be a little bit more playful be a little bit more playful okay um, I hope the reading has been helpful thank you for all of your support all of your emails I got a lot of emails asking like what's going on where are you and a lot of it came from Aquarius uh, Pisces and um, Virgo so thank you for sticking around I hope the reading resonates with you and I hope that it has been helpful 
you guys are one of my favorite signs. I, I love Virgo and people mainly because you guys are so real and so dependable. And uh, when you send me the messages and the emails, I can feel the sincerity. So I really, really appreciate it. Okay, take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.